Right. The president talks about the importance of getting serious about our national debt. But I want to look at the record with you, Mr. Secretary, and let's put it up on the screen. In December, the president's own debt commission called for $4 trillion in cuts. Mr. Obama didn't endorse any of them. In January, in his State of the Union speech, he didn't mention the word debt until 35 minutes in. In February, he proposed a budget that cut the deficit only $400 billion over 10 years. The Senate, the Senate rejected that 97 to nothing. And in April, he offered another plan that was so fuzzy, the head of the CBO said, we don't estimate speeches. Meanwhile, Mr. Secretary, Republicans have offered several specific plans to deal with the national debt. Plans that would devastate the economy, devastate the country, because in their well, plans... In, in your opinion, but they did no, have, no, they at least had a plan. They well, had the Ryan plan, they had cap, cut, and balance. They did. You guys have had no plan. Well, no, that, first of all, that's not fair. In April, the President of the United States put out a framework that would do $4 trillion in deficit reduction over roughly the same period of time. Which and the he's CBO been spending, director said is so fuzzy he couldn't even score and, it. And he has been spending every day, every week since then, negotiating with Republican leaders and Democratic leaders on a framework that can pass and work. Now, remember... But why have you had no plan? It's, it's not, it's, Chris, that's not fair. I know the Republican leadership says that, but it's just not true. Well, and anybody it, it, who's been the in the CBO, room... The CBO, the nonpartisan head of the Congressional Budget Office, said, we can't score a speech. Chris, let's...